so when you say fighting spirit, you know, it's fighting is getting into a confrontation, right, with an opposing force. Whether it's an, an, a foreign nation that's attacking us or whether it's a guy standing across the cage, it, it has to be part of who I am. That's that spirit that they're talking about. The great thing about the military and, and the fighting spirit of the Navy, if you will, is that like we are fighting for something greater. That's to me what like being a fighter is, being able to really dig deep and, and per persevere in, in the face of, of any obstacle. Um, whether it's something as tangible and as you know in your face as a guy standing across the cage from you, or whether it's something as serious and as important as what we do in the Navy. I like the martial arts, I love specifically jujitsu. it's just because it's, you need to be in shape, right? We know that's physical mission of the Navy, like you have to stay in physical shape. And so there's lots of ways to do that, right? You can run marathons, you can do the, the standard Navy PT stuff, you can go to the gym, you can lift weights, but the one thing that's nice about martial arts is you're staying in shape and you're learning a skill set that can potentially save your life one day. So it's like you're, you know, there's a lot of other things too, but that's just like a way that you're really killing multiple birds with one stone. So it's, it seems like a no-brainer to me, like why not? Like if you're gonna, if you're gonna need to stay in shape anyway, let's do it in a way that you're learning something that's super, super helpful to you in your everyday life. You know, for me, it's just a test of skill and uh, kind of will at the same time. So it's exciting, it's fun. Um, you know, it's definitely uh, not for everybody, but uh, I think it's pretty neat. John, take us into our first fight with Nate Greb. Yeah, Nate Greb out of Conquest BJJ. <laughs> Things Nate's got up. that. Nate's got it. There you go. Got the finish. Yeah. Great performance by Nate Greb, and I'll be honest. Your winner by way of submission due to a triangle choke, Nate Greb. You know, in the military, we rely on our, our team. We rely on our on our on our sailors, our Marines, our soldiers to to help us in these situations, right? And and they rely on us. It's your training partners in the gym, right? It's your coaching staff in the gym that gets you prepared. So it's still that teamwork mentality. And so I think there's just a, there's a good relationship there because of the stress levels, you know? I mean, it, it's, gonna, it's gonna put you in a difficult situation, an adverse situation, and it's, it's fight or flight, you know? So that, that there's, at least in some facets of the military, <laughs> there's plenty of that. You know, the men and women of our armed services who are out there on the tip of the spear defending the freedoms that we take for granted every single day. I, I like to think that I contributed to that effort a little bit in my career, but there's people out there now and that have done more than I'll ever even dream of. And I think that, you know, taking that message forward and trying to remember that when I find myself in my civilian life now, like I'm a business owner and I'm, I'm not doing that anymore, but like I always want to remember that because without that, none of this exists. That's a very important thing for people to remember. And if I can instill that in my kids and in any way that it's appropriate instill that in the students that I train here, you know, that, hey, look, you know, we play fight in here, right? There's guys out there, you know, on the wall that are doing it for real. And we don't get to do this if they don't do that. And so always remember that. And if I can carry that message forward, I'll consider, you know, that transition to success.